Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, I'm Katie Scott. In the headlines today, Microsoft gives a little taster of Windows 7, who's after Yell.com, the BBC iPlayer comes to Virgin Media, Dell is found guilty of massive fraud and Intel delays the Sentry No 2. Microsoft boss Bill Gates and CEO Steve Ballmer have revealed a select few features from the next Microsoft operating system, at the moment dubbed Windows 7. Shown at the All Things Digital event, primary featured was the multi-touch technology that is reported as being similar to that of the iPhone, as well as Microsoft's coffee table computer, The Surface. The new OS will also feature an OS X-like dock, multi-touch gestures in photo galleries such as two-finger zoom, flicking, panning and a multi-touch paint program where you can draw with all ten fingers. An in-depth mapping application that takes content from Microsoft's Live Maps and Microsoft's Virtual Earth was also demoed. Obviously it's all very much at early stages yet and will no doubt be tweaked and reworked before the final version of Windows 7 is available available in about 18 months time. We want to know exactly how deep Microsoft's pockets are. It's confirmed that it's after Yahoo's search engine business and talks are ongoing. And we've also reported the rumours that it's in negotiations to possibly buy the worldwide social networking success that is Facebook. But now there's talk that Microsoft may have its eye on yet another outfit. Reuters is reporting that Microsoft may be after none other than the British listing service Yell, or Yellow Pages as it was formerly known. Shares in the Yell Group rose 5.4% upon the whispers of a possible bid. Yell, though, is declining to comment. We have good news for all of you Virgin Media subscribers. The BBC iPlayer will be available via its EPG from next week. Virgin Media customers will be able to access the service as a dedicated section on Virgin Media's catch-up TV service via its EPG, as well as through hitting the red button. Virgin Media's 3.5 million TV customers are the first in the UK to get BBC iPlayer on a TV platform and are able to watch full screen pictures at full quality on their television set without the need for downloading. In a case that's been splashed all over the headlines, Dell has been found guilty of fraud, false advertising, deceptive business practices and abusive debt collection practices. The Albany County Supreme Court found that Dell deprived customers of the technical support that they had bought or were eligible for under warranty by making people wait for a very long time on the phone, repeatedly transferring or frequently disconnecting their calls. The court also found that Dell failed to uphold contracts for on-site repairs made customers wait for nearly a year for next day service contracts and blamed software when hardware was at fault. And Dell Financial Services was also involved in some of the non-customer friendly practices with special no interest finance that was advertised but denied, interest rates as high as 30%, incorrect billing for cancelled orders and harassment for payment using illegal billing or collection practices. The court is yet to determine how much Dell will have to pay to affect customers and it will also require Dell to pay the state of New York the profits it made on these deceptive practices so Dell could be in for a rather large bill. Intel has revealed it's being forced to delay the launch of the forthcoming Centrino 2 platform by almost two months. The manufacturer pointed to issues related to the chipset and the antennae for wireless technology. Centrino 2, also known as Montevina, is the next version of Intel's Centrino platform for laptops and was due for launch in June. Laptop manufacturers are now expected to begin shipping products based on the new processors in July, with the launch of Centrino 2 scheduled for the first week of August, said an Intel spokesperson in Singapore. Those were the biggest stories of the day. Join us again tomorrow for more news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. And in the meantime, why not check out our shiny, spanking new interface on our website, which means you can now, among other things, watch all of our clips full screen. Thanks for watching.